So what's up fellow journeyers? Already a super awesome day today. Well, mainly because of yesterday. I don't know if JJ's having a super awesome day, buddy. Oh no, did you drop your ball? Is that better? So Marissa's somewhere running. Where'd she go, buddy? Where'd she go? There they are. Look at you. You just walking? You getting her going, Hensley? This is cool down. Uh-huh, yeah, I know. <laughs> Hensley's a tough trainer. Get her, girl. Go, go, go. Hope they're not gone too long because he's about done. <laughs> I know, I know, buddy. You about done. You about ready for your nap. You wanna see yourself? Will that help? How's that? Is that better? <laughs> Is that baby? Whoa! I, I can't let you grab the camera. That wouldn't be good. You wanna grab that microphone, don't you? We got left. We got this. Tell her how it is. Say, yeah! yeah. <laughs> Keep like 20 of these around. There you go. There you go. Is that better? So Hensley was like a, uh, a finger sucker, so we didn't actually save us a lot of money on pacifiers, I guess. That's, that's pro number one. Number two is that at night, Hensley could put herself back to sleep with her fingers. Well, JJ, when he drops his pacifier at night, like, he needs some help. So you need to start learning to use your fingers or just sleep on your own, buddy. One or the <laughs> other. Make up your mind. We, we still love you, though. I know most people don't want their kids to find their fingers, but... Well, their fear Coming is that from they're... a family of finger suckers. Yeah, we got a family of finger suckers here. I mean, come on, buddy. Uh, yeah, one day you kicked the habit. I did, so... <laughs> yeah, but you were like, what, fourth grade? Oh, third. Give me some credit here. <laughs> That's the fear with the fingers, is that your kid's going to be that kid at, uh, you know, third, fourth, fifth grade. There's nothing wrong with There's that. There's nothing wrong with it. Um, I turned out just fine. Yeah, yeah. Marissa still... I, I roll over some nights, and she's still sucking her fingers over there. I... But. I don't. <laughs> but yeah, we're experimenting. I know some of you had asked how much water does the washer dryer use because you're curious, like situations like this. In the Northeast, it looks like we're gonna have a lot of this with like electric only, which I'm a fan of it. Um, you, you go and you dump your tanks, you're only messing with the hose one time. We have a huge water tank on this. So we've got, let me look it up. I don't wanna make something up with you guys. It's great for the connoisseurs of camping. I guess that's us. All right, fresh water, 85. Gray water, 98 wastewater 82. Now if you're not regularly looking at RVs, this isn't something you're like, what does it even mean? But I'll let you know, like that's those pretty good tank sizes. It's like just under toy hauler tank sizes and definitely above the norm on tank size. Normally you'd have what maybe 60 gallons of fresh, 40 black, 40 gray, which is what we had in our Airstream, which is really good for a travel trailer really. So 85 gallons of fresh, I mean, that's nice. And the big one, like 98 of gray. So what 98 of gray means, this is definitely on its own gray tank, which is awesome. So what that means is we can like take our showers and have 40, 50 gallons of gray like we normally would. Like this has like, it's it's pretty much got its own 40, 50 gallons because we don't use the sink in the back for much of anything. According to our handy dandy fancy buttons here. So fresh, I mean, I can't tell you exactly how much water the washer dryer is using, but I can tell you it's not using an insane amount because when we started the washer dryer, we were at two thirds and we're still at two thirds and it's almost to like the last cycle where I know it's gonna use next to nothing. But the gray that the washer dryer's on, it's gone from empty up to a third. So do I know how much it's using? No, but I'm gonna throw it out there. I think it's 10 gallons or less per load. <laughs> Maybe. But super pumped today because yesterday, and I didn't film, I probably should have filmed just to balance this out. But instead of things breaking all day or me dealing with fixing things all day, well actually I did fix things, but we had things fixed. Like we had more things fixed than were broken. So it was a very good day. With our solar, it's working, but one of our monitors is off. So I got it to balance out, to zero out. So it's accurate now because we've got to move because of having to fix the truck. We've had to stay here longer than we wanted and we can't get an electric site. So we are going to be like 100% boondocking um, for two or three nights over like there somewhere but the thing i'm most excited about so if you look under here you guys have been watching the video you know that something is there that was not there before and that is called a timbrin so we now have two of those to assist with the leaf springs which were not giving us the suspension they were supposed to with this truck i think those are like uh it's like 7800 pounds around 8000 pounds maybe it's, it was a lot <laughs> like more weight than i'll probably ever have in the back of this truck for those timbrins so they should keep us from sagging like we were. Now the ride, I know not gonna be quite what I would get with an airbag necessarily. Maybe I'll find a way to fabricate this and get some aftermarket airbags on this at some point. But for now, just keeping it from sagging it like it was. And I have to believe the ride's gonna be better than what it was with these, than pretty much nothing. <laughs> I'm pumped to have that. The third thing, which I did, I put in the fuel filter for the truck, uh, which is actually two different filters. I don't know, it took me, I'm sure two, three times longer than anybody else, maybe like an hour 
hour and a half by the time I got all the tools, watched all the videos and everything. Somebody who knows what they're doing and has the tools could probably do it in 30 minutes. Buffalo is known for a few different things. When you think of Buffalo, you think of the history, the architecture, and Buffalo wings, right? <laughs> so we're about to head to Anchor Bar, which they say that they are the inventors of Buffalo sauce. So the original Buffalo wing. Home of the original. And what's funny is the one thing that I craved during my pregnancy with JJ was buffalo sauce. I loved everything buffalo and still, I still am craving some buffalo. So I'm really excited about this one. I like how you say steel. It's like S-T-E-E-L. Steel. <laughs> Do you know that it's been really hard teaching spelling to a kindergartner when she hears Southern accents because she's sounding words out. Excellent. She spelled water with a D the other day. And I was like, but it's water, water. She has a hard time. It's hard teaching. <laughs> Versed in the mild sauce, like a sissy. <laughs> hey, if I eat JJ gets um, hot sauce. Beef, what was it called? Beef on walk? Wet or wet? Yeah. Butchered. Uh, particular in the city of Buffalo, it's roast beef on a roll. Hmm. We're being very original to the area, but very touristy as well. <laughs> it's something like Loganberry. Loganberry juice, even better. Oh, it's good. It's like my juice. <laughs> it's like your juice? You like it? What does it taste like? Melted red popsicle. That's exactly it. There's mine. Oh my goodness, baby. <laughs> mm -hmm. Look at all. That is awesome. Nathan, I do you know? Not, clue. You don't know what horseradish is? I have no clue. Like I don't even know what to do now. It's like in the bread. Horseradish is very strong. It came out my nostrils. It'll make it like. I don't even. Know. It's what's in cocktail sauce and stuff like that. Wow. <laughs> he just slathered that on. <laughs> I'm not gonna waste that. <laughs> it's strong. Like clears your sinuses. Strong. So right here. Not only is it a Tennessee plate, that is actually our home county as well. So that's pretty crazy. That's a good buffalo. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Hensley's been asking for donuts for days. It's all you, Hensley. <laughs> you know us, we have to come check out the sweets in the area as well. That's one of the fun parts of traveling. Totally gonna negate that run we did this morning, but I eat so I can run and I run so I can eat. Yeah. I thought he was gonna be a mama's boy, but I think he's already a daddy's boy. Hey, Both my it. kids. Do what I can do. Maybe I need a dog for me or something. I uh, did manage to parallel park the dually here, so <laughs> hey, it works. Uh, we're good to go. <laughs> He's fascinated with this camera today, man. He wants to so like, Give me that camera. <laughs> give it to me. What is that? Under half a dozen? Mm -hmm. Under half a dozen or something, yeah. It's really good. <laughs> and a red velvet. Let me, let me do the angel cream. Angel Peanut cream. Kit Kat. You got two more. Apple cinnamon. We should get it. Does it? <laughs> do we do it. Alright, we'll make it a dozen. Make we'll it do, it. <laughs> do a glazed cinnamon and a Kit Kat. Alright. Strawberry, Strawberry shortcake. Okay. Oh. Did you said peanut jelly? Oh, peanut jelly. One more? Uh, right. have eight. You have four more. Oh, four more? Yeah. What haven't we gotten? <laughs> peanut butter one? 
powdered chocolate angel cream. So that's a yeah, so we totally got way more than we needed. It's really hard when you're trying new stuff. Isn't it hard? Because I'm like, oh, I need to try this and I need to try that. And we've got friends that are staying in the campground. So, you know, didn't want to not come back with bearing donuts. This is ridiculous. I mean, they wouldn't even all fit in the box. <laughs> Whoa. It's so heavy, babe. <laughs> He's like, oh. He yeah. is ready to go. <laughs> Give it to me. He, oh, no. Oh, no. So you had to make a choice between taking another bite <laughs> I was holding his and hand. getting that off his fingers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at him. Oh, he didn't like that. That was so close. Let me answer the first question first. No, we did not eat the whole box, but we had I a few. Didn't even eat a full donut. Like this. There's the donuts are so thick and there's so much cream and it's it's incredible. Like this is this box is like it's heavy. <laughs> it's really heavy. We could use it as a dumbbell. <laughs> So these guys pulled in last night. There's, uh, I don't know, about four of them, I guess? But they spent the night here, uh, but they're riding their bikes around Lake Ontario over there. Here they, here they go. Dad, I love you. Come, come here. Aw, did you miss me? And this is me and you down here. So if you're ever wondering what happens when you have 200 sites at one dump station. So there's one dump station, it's like over here. Let's see how many we got. One, I can't see them all. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's been at least nine RVs deep for the last hour, hour and a half, something like that. So we're not in any hurry to get out of here today. There's still a lot of RVs that haven't left. We try to time it, we don't leave at the same time on a weekend as everybody else, but it happens. It's a lot of RVs going to dump. So we all grabbed showers and finished off the water. The line has it's not where it was at least. So <laughs> if there are people in line, it's not nearly as bad. The most I saw that was around 15 RVs deep for the dump station. So I don't know, probably over an hour wait. I don't even know how long, like a long wait <laughs> to dump your tanks. But now comes the test. I've already kind of tested this part. So we have the Timberins put on the truck, which I don't think I talked about. So Timberins are basically, if people are hauling heavy loads, they'll put them on in addition to the leaf spring. So it's not like a totally new thing unique to my truck or anything like that. It's some airbag, it, they're like an in-between a bump stop and uh, airbags. I don't know if you can tell by looking here, they're like, uh, yeah, they're kind of like airbags, but um, pretty much like rubber airbags that actually don't need air. I don't know how these are gonna ride yet. I do know, because we actually moved from our campground, we moved from our campsite over here to over here for two nights. I do know that it doesn't squat the truck as much, maybe like, one to two inches instead of like four to five inches. So that's already a win, but we'll see how the truck rides. That's a big test too. But I like them. They're simple, they're minimal, they don't require maintenance, lifetime guarantee on them. So the current suspension with the Timberins, that cost me 450 bucks to have installed. Versus the air suspension system, which is who knows what, 8,000 plus to have it installed or replaced, You've got the two airbags, you've got all the hair hoses, you've got it hooking into the modules and the, the system up front, it automatically controls it. I think it has like two tanks, got the compressor. I mean, just an insane amount of moving parts. For what? I mean, how much softer of a ride? I, I get it, if you want the softest ride possible, I'm sure the air suspension's better than the Timberins, no doubt. <laughs> but is it eight grand better? And we're gonna get these slides in, we're gonna get out of here, we're gonna see how this thing rides. Here it goes. That's it. It's not bad. So night and day difference with the Timberlands. At least to me, I asked Marissa and she felt like that too. Like, so like if I was holding a cup of water right now, it's not gonna be like, you know, luxury SUV smooth but if you hold a cup of water you might see it vibrate or you can tell you're going over a bump or something but before like that water would have probably like <laughs> splashed out on my face or something I mean it's it's a big difference 
Uh, you can even tell I'm actually able to handle this camera right yeah, now. Yeah, <laughs> you probably didn't see a whole lot of smooth. I mean, this isn't a buttery smooth road or anything either. I mean, but it's doing good. It's awesome. Just an unreal difference. Thrilled. Thrilled we did it. We needed it. <laughs> Finsley, are you helping daddy? Yeah. Do we need to go righty tighty or lefty loosey? Righty tighty. That's right. Righty tighty. Keep going. Keep it going. got tight. Good job. All right, let's go in there. Now, one trend I'm starting to see with a lot of these state parks is they have the option for electric, which is awesome. So we got 50 amp, which is the, let's be honest, we're here four nights. That's the main thing. Like, that's nice because even with solar, lithium, we got trees, we got cloudy weather, which we have both right now. Like, electric is nice to have and then they've got these uh, water spigots spread out all over the park like every I don't know five six site you just fill up your RV and then you know four nights we fill up once we're good to go we got and what what are you what are you doing here girl you're what launching, launching yourself I love the uh... <laughs> oh <laughs> did not see that coming for some reason and so it doesn't always work out like this where we can reach one of these spigots from our site. But when we can, it's really nice. And then we carry 50 feet of hose, like for this reason. It's so much easier to carry extra hose with these because these scrunch up so much. These uh, zero Gs or whatever. But even if you like, let's say you get stuck and you only got 25 feet, you need 50 or you got 50, you need 75, like you can ask any RVer and they will, they'll, they'll loan you a hose to let you get to one of these if you need to. What's up guys? Hey. Hey buddy. Did you have a good nap? Somebody napped the whole way here. He's you know such that? a good traveler. Somebody napped the whole way here. That's the way to do it, buddy. You it. <laughs> well, she's helping me with the water. Do you want to stay and help me with the water or you want to go into the playground? Mm. When you see it spraying, help it. I know. It's almost done. We're waiting for it to start coming out. It's got to be getting close. I think it's got a big hey, tank. we're going to the playground. Yeah, into the playground. So we can't quite see Hensley from our RV at the playground, but I mean, it's just like an insanely short walk over here. And then boom, this thing's pretty cool. And what is she doing up there? <laughs> <laughs> what is this stuff? This is like workout equipment. Awesome. Hensley, did you climb up there all by yourself? I gotta go bathroom. Oh no. <laughs> well, do I need to help you down? Sure. Alright. I like your moose. Uh, no, isn't it the cutest? Uh, it's the softest little thing. Yeah. It's from Milk Barn. I love it. One of the things that stands out to me so far about New York is like, it's not what you think about when you think about New York. When you think, thinking, like at least for me, when I think of New York, I think of New York City, I think of busyness and people and it's um, upstate New York, like a lot of farmland, a lot it's of farmers. Beautiful. We pass two or three tractors on the way here. Feels like Beautiful home. area, <laughs> yeah. I'm excited about this state park. Mm -hmm. I've heard some really good things. I know the brochure said it was the number one state park in the country. I don't know how you, World famous state park. <laughs> <laughs> the world famous stuff. You say world famous. I know. It's like anything. If you're world famous, you really have to say you're world famous. No, we're excited to have more things fixed than broken in this video, at least. Um, <laughs> love Buffalo. Love Niagara Falls. Love the whole area. We're going to be hitting a couple of state parks, a couple of very popular state parks, like it's based on the reviews and things we've read about. So that's going to be coming up. And then uh, still working our way, working our way toward Maine. We're a little behind. Uh, the title and the solar and the truck got us behind on our <laughs> route, but I mean, it's it's definitely better than not being able to do the route. So we're really hoping to see everything we can see, and uh, maybe figure out our groove along the way. But the truck, the truck did great. Like yeah. I, seriously, I can't. Other than when I look down, it's telling me how many miles per gallon I'm getting. Like I really can hardly tell that the fifth wheel is behind there. I mean. It it's, was a much smoother ride oh man, today. It was. I'm excited. Yeah, I am too. Um, it's very comfortable. It's amazing that that's mainly what it needed pretty much. So we'll see. We'll see on the leaf springs, but the timber has made a world of difference. Lindsay wants to go. Where do you want to go? Definitely Yeah. Um, Travel days wear me out, but then she's got tons of energy once we get there because she's been sitting. <laughs> and he's been sleeping, so. <laughs> so now they're rare. And now ready they're ready to go. <laughs> <laughs> he's okay. got a lot to say. Uh, 
<laughs> He's like, you see that baby. All right, we're gonna call it a night. <laughs> Except for me and Hensel, I guess we're going to the playground. <laughs> and we will catch you guys later. Give me a kiss, give me a JJ kiss. Oh, kisses. <laughs> oh, I love it. <laughs>